Hi guys, this is Ibrahim Khalil from my channel IK Sub PD. Hope doing well. In this tutorial, I will show you how to insert data into a table, how to update data into a table, and how to delete data from a table. So let's go to start. Here I open SQL Server Management Studio, and now as usual, I am going to click New Query. Here you see the query analyzer, and here I just select. 150 for large font and here you see the default database master is selected but I am going to select my database which one I create test DB and here also you see the text DB database and which one table I want to insert data I am going to insert data into employee info so First of all, I just write the code select statement. Select all from employee info. In my previous tutorial, I will show you about select statement. If you do not watch, please watch my previous two tutorial about SQL Server. So I'm just going to run this query. Just click execute. There is no data. So now I am going to insert data into employee info. For insert data, we need to write query, SQL query like insert into then table name. Which one? This one employee info. Then write values. And then start first bracket and then close first bracket and then semicolon. So which table I want to insert data this one employee info and this insert into and values is keyword so here you see the column which one I made ID name address city and age so here just need ID just I click one and then one fill one for ID and then sorry and then for name so here I am going to write server and then comma and then for address here I am going to address Mirpur and then for city here I am going to city Dhaka and then here you see is for is I am going to 40. Okay, guys, here I am writing SQL query for insert. Now, here is the column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here also I write the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 fields. Now I am going to run this line. So that's why I select this line and then click execute. Here you see one row affected. So now I am going to see what happened in database table so I just run this query and here you see ID 1 name Sarwar and address Mirpur and city Dhaka and is 40 already below inserted if you want to insert another data so you select here 2 and here you select Masood and here you select at any I just here select Dhanmundi and then city here I say Mumbai and then I'm going to is 25 and now I'm going to run this insert query one row affected so I'm going to test here you see Masood Dhanmundi Mumbai and is so guys you see here the insert query now I'm going to write the query for update so for update query just need to write update then table name which one employee info and then set in this update query now need to write column name 
so I'm going to change name so here I'm going to name I'm going to change about server I need to update server so that's why I am need here server motion and then comma and then I want to change city then city and then is equal to here is Dhaka I am going to change its penny and then going to change is I am going to change is 36 and here I need to condition where id is equal to 1 and then semicolon sorry so here I am writing SQL query for update, update keyword, then employee table name, then set keyword, then name is the field and city is the field, age is the field and I am giving here a condition where id is equal to 1 which name will be update which id is 1 here I don't change address if you want to change here you just need to write so I am also right then address is equal to sorry here some conflict address is equal to I am going to Gulshan I should say Gulshan and here is a mistake just a is equal to 36 now everything is okay I want to change four column but id dot change because id is a primary key and that's why id is not update so now I'm going to run this query one row affected and now see what happens and here you see server Moshe then address is Gulshan and city is Feni and is 36 because here I am going to update for this query so guys you see insert query and update query now I am going to write here for delete query for delete need to write delete from then employee info guys if I run this query all data will be deleted in a table all data will be deleted if I giving a condition like fire ID is equal to 2 then only one row is depicted so going to run one row affected so I'm going to check one is deleted and another one is exist if I run this line all data will be deleted here you see and now I'm going to run no data is here so guys you see here how to write insert query and how to write update query and how to write delete query or with condition okay guys if you like this video please like video and share this video and if you do not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel bye for now